Five two-minute rounds for the amateur SKA K1 English title. Cameron Longbottom, Paul Force Jim in the blue. Joe Peter Lee, Lincoln Fight Factory in the red. Distinct height advantage for Cameron. In the black, Joe the red shorts with the black trim, inside leg kick from Cameron. Joe comes back with a strong boxing combination. Been having a number of conversations with young Joe between his last bout and this one. Very mature in his attitude towards his sport and said that all he wants to do is consistently improve and he's convinced he can do that under the tutorship of a great ex-fighter like Sean Burton, boom boom. And he said that's what he wants to do, he wants to continually improve and start to show that he can win things. Well, he's got his first opportunity here with this English title. And in our last conversation, he said to me, look for a really good performance, the training camp's gone well, I'm really sharp, I'm looking forward to showing what I can do and what I'm really gonna be capable of. So now the time has come. And Joe is here with Cameron contesting this title bout. And as I said, promised a vast improvement on what was a good performance last time out. So, can he do it over the five rounds this time? His last bout was over the three. Very confident young opponent in Cameron, so I'm looking forward to a really good five round contest from these two. It's a good measured start, switching kicks. Come in with the jab, but Joe closed the gap quickly, saying to the back of the head there. Didn't like the contact to the back of the head there, Joe, but we're getting back on. Cameron chops low with that rear leg. Chops again, almost took Joe's balance there. He responds with a stiff right hand. Close opening first round, not much between the two of them at all. Sean giving Joe his instructions there. Cameron did well, I thought. Chopped with the low kick. Calm and composed in his corner as well. Two very good young men. Round two of five. Bobbing and weaving, slipping the punches from Cameron and looking to get inside the taller man's reach. It's a good tactic. Cameron a lively start himself. Nicely balanced again. Sean Burton, great matchmaking. That was a solid kick from Cameron. Joe had to take it, bite on the gum shield and fire back. He does not give his men easy battles here. Sean Burton never has done. And Joe's got a tough competitor here himself in Cameron. I think Cameron just took a shot to the groin there. He's saying he's okay to continue. Joe just told them might they acknowledge sportingly. Cameron looks to push forward once more, but a stiff jab from Joe slips away from the reply. But that right leg of Cameron has been brought into play solidly. And Joe looking to drive the body shots in, then brings a little left uppercut and the right hook landed. Solid second round here. And it's the legs of Cameron against the fast hands of Joe at the moment. Good 4-5 punch combination from the local fighter in that last exchange. And he closes the gap quickly. When he commits to get inside the tall room fighter, he commits quickly. Ducks under that right hand from Cameron. Steps in low with the kick. Comes in close. Cameron looks for the 
Jab cross combination just misses. Checks the kick, Joe. Overhand Bolo right as he comes in, the right knee. Immediately replied by Cameron. Back and forward this bout. Nicely balanced. Ducks in again. Joe steps in quickly, doubles up on the left hand. Little inside leg kick. Cameron throws that rear right leg. Right at the bell there. Two good solid rounds, not much between them. I like the way this young man closes the gap when he commits on his taller opponent. He does it quickly. This young man throws a very wicked rear right leg roundhouse. His own punches are tight as well. These are two dangerous young men. And rightly so, it's for the title belt. They should be dangerous. Because once you get that English title, experience goes out the window. If your opponent's out 100, 150 fights, you're the champion. So there's a lot weighing on these two young men. There's that closing the gap I talked of with Joe, though. He does it quickly, he throws the punches and punches, and that jab snapped his opponent's head back, who looks to respond with a nice little uppercut in that combination. Push kick on the end. Spurred into action, Cameron, from the accuracy of Joe's previous work. And again, one knee each there. Cameron happy to play the aggressor, Joe happy to push in on the counter. Nicely balanced, good styles. There you go again, that fast left-right combination from Joe. There's the right leg from Cameron. He's not a bad boxer either, is he? But Joe steps in close there, rocks the head with the right hand once more. And each time he does so, you hear the crowd respond. Faint there from Cameron. Joe pushes forward with the jab, jab cross combination. So the feints came from Cameron, but the actual work came from Joe there, who ignored them, stepped in when he when he felt the time was right. Two thinking young men in here as well. Stepped inside that left hand. Did Joe in the red corner? Cameron, four five punch combination, forcing his opponent to take a tight guard. Bolo right from Joe. The left hook lands. And the right, keeping Cameron backed up there. As I said, when he commits, it's punches in bunches. It's eye-catching work when the judges are looking. In a close round, they're looking for you to give them something. Good third round. Staying upright, look calm, listening to his corner. Slight nosebleed for Cameron from that right that jogged the head back. It won't phase him, but we're into the penultimate round, round four. Four of five. So here we go, penultimate round. Good cardio from both young men as well. Let's talk about the pace of this bout non-stop, as you'd expect from K1. It's the all-action format, and these two are showing that. Nice little left hook on the turn from Joe. Stepped off the line, and there's that jab. It's stiff and straight. He promised an improved in performance, and win or lose, it's happening here tonight so far. He's been focused and disciplined, and his boxing has been very accurate. I like the way he stepped off the line a number of occasions to deliver that left. And again, like that, he ducks under the right hand to reply. Cameron, for his part, he's got fast hand speed. I love his rear leg right round kick. And when you've got a mobile opponent like Joe in front of you, I'd like to see Cameron pepper an opponent's leg with that round kick. Again, Joe ducks under the boxing and lands cleanly with his own right. The subtle difference between the two is how much of the boxing Joe's just slipping to fire back his own, just like this. This is why I think for Cameron, you fire in the leg kicks, you slow your opponent down, you stop him coming in at speed like that. 
You saw in the first round the power of Cameron's kicks. This is the time you boom them in. You set up with that lead kick, you throw that rear leg, you start to slow your opponent down with the weight of those kicks. Nice right knee from Cameron. But there's the boxing again from Joe, it's accurate. And he's landing more cleanly, three of those five punches landed. Little smile from Cameron. That's more an acknowledgement. There's the low kick, chop it in. But Joe pushes forward again and he ducks so many of those counters. As he did there and the last shot, the last meaningful shot was the left hook on the turn from the red corner. So fifth and final round, a sporting hug from two very good young men. The title belt around one of their waists. And again, Joe pushes in very quickly. Oh, there's that right hand, good counter. The left hand from Cameron, but he's had to ship a number of these, especially across rounds three, four and five. Steps in again, Joe throws the kick, spins. Beautifully timed to the midsection, and it's a delayed reaction. Spinning sidekick from Joe and Cameron. A delayed reaction, it was right into the midsection. He's up, he's game, he's a warrior. He touched close, but Joe will be straight on looking to work that body. There you go, consistently, and he goes down once more. Knew exactly what he was doing here. And you can see the frustration from Cameron. You work the body, there's no recovery. I've seen people recover from headshots. I've seen them shake it off. I've seen the granite nature of some chins, but body shots are horrible. And this is what Joe is now focusing on. Cameron, that sheer determination and warrior instinct. As Joe is really looking for the big finish, you know you've won the title if your opponent doesn't make it to the end of the five rounds. In a way, I hope Cameron does, I really do, because he's been such a warrior and he's soaking up so much here. And looking to fire back, that's a warrior. And I'm glad he's staying the distance, he deserves to. This has been a great bag. But there's an exclamation mark on the work of Joe Peter Lee in this fifth round. The title belt, I most sincerely feel, is going around his waist especially with those two counts, it can't really go any other way now. Doesn't need anything fancy anymore, he doesn't need to take risks, but look at this, that's a warrior spirit from Cameron. Does his own left hook to the body, right at the bell, I'm glad he made it. But Joe Peter Lee in his last talk with me said, look for an improved performance. He's delivered on that and his reward, I'm certain, will be this title belt. You can see what it means to him as well. Well, all I can say to Joe is, you told me you were going to be a big improvement. You said, watch for this bout. I'm really confident you have delivered, young man. <laughs>